Ruth here, and this is my crafter's companion hall, uh, su craft supplies haul number 23. So this is the thing that released, and this is the bonus buy. So I'll do the bonus buy because it has less in it than this. Mm -hmm. Walk it there. It's nice that they got a but in an envelope that's well, bubble mailer that still has the uh, sticky bit in that they don't stick down because then I can reuse the envelope, which is nice. So, quite a few colors here. Falling everywhere. Okay, so I got these ones. Obviously, it's not all of them because when I looked it up, there were quite a lot more. And these are only the opaque pigment version, not the quick dry or the water reactive, just plain pigment pigment version. So I believe it's a different blending tool for the other ones and whatever. So I guess I'll go over the colors with you. So we've got green topaz, which I believe I do have. Pretty sure I have the green topaz and the Chinese red, which now that I think about it, if I sort of remember correctly, they were supposed to be quick dry. But when I looked at it, I believe it's just said opaque pigment. So, I might have been giving the wrong ones, but it's, it's fine. Um, yes, so, Green Topaz, Spring Meadow, Ocean Blue, Plum Jam, Smoked Pearl, Oasis, Bordeaux, and Noir Black. I did message them on uh, their, whatchamacallit, that's help, uh, Crafters TV when I was uh, watching before, what the difference between Noir Black and Jet Black. And Craig said it was basically the same because he couldn't tell the difference. So I won't necessarily need to get that one in my collection since I have this already, which is good. Sumptuous, fade-free color with rich, slow-drying consistency. In a range of harmonious or harmonious colors that combine beautifully. The rest is another link. Well, that's what it says. Um, all of them. See? Okay, so that is that. Um, I'm just going to, it's too bad it wasn't a, uh, like, a rainbow selection. Well, I mean, sort of, there's, there's missing an orange. It's like, Bordeaux is kind of like more of a, like, a blood red kind of color. Plum Jam is kind of like a purple color. Got two greens. We got two blues, no yellow, and we got purple, no pink, and a grayish, and a black. Luckily, I did have. I. Yeah, I did buy the white a while ago. So, like. Blue, green, <laughs> So, all of those will be off to the side. Now, for the main bit. Oh yes, by the way, the bonus buy 
which was those pigment ink pads, cost £45, but since I bought it with the collection, or I don't know if it was really a showstopper, but when I got it with the main collection, it was, because it was a bonus buy, I got it half off. So I did not pay 45 I paid 20 some. I can't do middle math. So, and the next thing, which I'm going to show you, which you can probably see it with, if you look at the barcode right here, it is the Just To Say Collection, and that was $59.99 on sale, because they, they like putting sales on things they just released. And this sale, uh, retail price, I believe was 121 or something? I can't quite remember. But it was in the 100, 121, I think it was, from what I remember anyway. So, hopefully, this will open nicely. Is this how you open it or not? Or is it... Uh, it's on the side. It's not a flippy kind of flip up one, it's on the side. So let's just make sure it's all... And it's got another box inside, which I guess has everything in it, because the main box has... Look, that is a nice thick box, I might keep it. It has this binder. I guess it's easier than having a, a foam piece to stick right here. You just stick the, uh, stick the stuff right there. Hmm. Anyway, comes with this. Do I just... Pull it open then? Ooh, that was loud. And unlike other lever arch files, it does not have a lever to open it easier, so hmm, we'll see. Anyway, that is the binder. I think I'm going to put it off to the side because I have no space for it up here. Especially if I need to take out everything in here. So let me just briefly put that down here where I had it before. Get my scissors out again. Um, and I just see flashing on my microphone, so I think I might need to change change it over. Ooh, it's in envelopes. Crystal pen. That's interesting. Some little basic little baggies. That's cool. There's a little leaf right there. Wax candles, metal stamp, ink pads. It's very, very nice. A little. It says what's what's in the what's in the bag. It's nice. Then we have card blanks, stamping block. 
envelopes, card bodies. And yes, it's two different card sizes. Card blanks and envelopes goes over there. Got a whole thing of stamps here. And then uh, just to say thank you for your purchase. For your per for thank you for purchasing this exclusive Crafters Companion collection filled with an array of crafting delights. Discover the fiber sentiments we can pair together to create the perfect phrase for all your projects. That's nice. Because I could scotch the uh Examples of use, what's in there, female relation stamps, male relation stamps, extra stamps, and combination suggestions. A lot of suggestions. They're good for either on the front or on the inside of the card. But anyway. I need to change the microphone, so I'll be right back. <laughs> um, hmm. Let's just put that there for now. I guess we can go through this, because we're kind of already looking at it. And it's nice that it's on the uh, stamp, you know, storage panels, because then I don't have to stick anything to anything, and it's quite easily, you know, put into my binder there. Okay, so I'll just, I'll just read them out, shall I? Um, mummy, mom, mum, sis, mammy, mother, mama, grandma, grand, grandmother, granny, nanan, nanny, nana, nan, nana, what two ends? Auntie, aunt, auntie, i.e. Niece, sister, granddaughter, daughter, ma'am. Father, uncle, daddy, grandfather, grandpa, granddad, grand, granda, granda, granddad, son, gramps, nephew, pop, dad, brother, bro, BFF, hubby, grandson, husband, boyfriend, soulmate, fiance, sidekick, groom, dear. Cousin, partner, and dash two dash B. Girlfriend, an S. In crime, special, great, dash, and his wife. Someone, step, and dash in dash law. Fiance. I guess one of them is male and female. I think, right? Um, bestie, friend, mate, god, dash, missus, spouse, best, trusted, faithful, other, half, companion, couple, close, and bride. This is mine. In the, uh, right. Oh, congratulations. Only the best. To a gorgeous. Anyone can be a. Love you. To a very clever. Special wishes for a lovely. Just for you. Wishing my. Best. Lovely. You're like a. And. Happy anniversary to the greatest. 
it takes someone special to be a I laugh because there's nothing you can do about it. You're my, my, on your graduation, happy birthday, happy birthday, different font, you're the best. Those two uh, For a wonderful, two are very special, big, and your family, shine bright like a star you are, and her with love. In the whole world, thank you, you're my favorite. On our anniversary, on your anniversary, birthday wishes to a special. To me, from your, and his, forever my, best wishes. Stay fabulous, there is no one more amazing than you. To my beautiful, to the best, ever, brilliant, so proud of you, for life. Number one, always my. You were made to be from another mister. Anyone could wish for, because you already know too much. It's always so much fun when we are together. We'll always be like you are, rare and few. Wishing you a wonderful birthday. To my, on your birthday, well done. You're the kindest, loveliest, nicest, and most thoughtful. You've passed, get Promoted to, you did it, to a lovely, you're the most, wishing a, to my, simply incredible, I always knew it was you, a great day, our wedding day, smile because you are my, I smile because you are my, yeah, very nice collection of stamps, so I'm just, and they're big enough, these ones, you know, big enough to put on either the front or the inside. So, like, some options are like for a wonderful sister, shine bright like the star you are. Only the best mothers get promoted to grandmother. To a very special big sister, happy birthday. To my son and his girlfriend. To my simply incredible husband, dad, blah blah blah. Um, Uh, one of the, my favorite uh, samples wasn't quite read like this, but you are my sis, and I laugh because there's nothing you can do about it. I believe the sample was. Hang on. I'm gonna find it. I smile because you are my brother. I laugh because there's nothing you can do about it. I think that's my favorite one. I think I'm tempted to make that one and send it to my brother for his birthday? Christmas? I don't know. But like, I just get a kick out of it every time I read that. I think I'm going to make that one and send it to somebody because it's kind of funny. Anyway, Crystal Pet. I kind of want to keep the, the sticker, you know? So I'm going to be weird and not actually open it that way and just snip it off. So let's see what crystal pen it is in here. It's very nice little baggies too. I could, if I wanted to, just snip off that and like use this design like thing as pattern paper and die cut something out of it, die cut shape or something, or just cut the strip and put it on a card. That's always possible. There's like a little plastic thing that's from the recycle. Over there. And I missed. <laughs> Here is a very lovely sparkly crystal pen. It is white gem. 
I believe I have one this is the original purple and is it over here? I don't know. Oh yes it is. This is the second pin I got. Unfortunately this one does not say Crafter's Companion on it, but I got a pink one. Personally I was hoping for a gold or something, but it was on the last day, so it was a mystery. This I believe is pink, right? Pretty sure it's pink. So this one I keep over here, and I keep my uh, main purple one over by my uh, my computer because I write things over there. And I take it to the food bank with me because it's right on hand. I mean, it's so uh, pretty. And very shiny. So that is the crystal pen. Next up, I guess we'll go this way. Next up, it says stamping block. So, It is a stamping block. And this, as they say, I believe. It's on both sides, isn't it? Or is it on just the one side? Might be just the one side, actually. Yes. The very satisfying peel. Very satisfying. I totally missed the trash. Okay. So here is your credit block. And like, it's a nice, decent weight. Which is actually good because I was kind of thinking I needed one anyway to just lay, a t lay on top of things that I can use so I can, you know, stay down. But the this, since it has grid, you can line up. Your stamps on here or this way to keep it in line when you stamp. Obviously, it's called a stamping block or acrylic block, whatever. So, here are the cards and envelopes. Card blanks, this is this size, and there's card blanks which are this size. I mean, I don't really need to open them right now, do I? Any envelopes for both the card sizes. So that's pretty straightforward. I don't need to open those right now, do I? Mm -hmm. Fine, I'll open one of them. Oh yeah, they're different colors. So we got lavender, purpley kind of one, pink one, and white one. Very pastel. I believe the... Okay, now I don't know. I can't remember anymore. These ones I think are the same color, right? I think. Yeah. Same color, different size. Is this 6x6? Six six? No, 4x4. Four four. Or 5. 4 and a bit. 
Anyway. And these are the, uh, something by four. I can't read it right now. <laughs> but, like, I'll put a, uh, info, uh, an info, uh, what's it called? Picture at the end as normal. So you can see. You know what? I'm just gonna open all of them. Like, put the scissors out of the way. Okay, here we have a gold and silver wax candles, which I'd probably, since I don't really do open flame. Ooh, they are pretty. Put them in the light. Very spark shiny. Anyway, because I don't really, you know, do open flame in this room. Never. Because mom doesn't like it. So, I'll try to just shave off some, put it in the spoon, put that in uh, on the uh, burner thing. And then we have the metal stamp. Which is a heart, which luckily I do not have. And these can screw off and screw on. So like, technically you don't need one handle and many metal stamps. Or if you want to do more at the same time, instead of constantly taking them on and off, then you will need more hits. And I've got a couple in there. That I actually own anyway. Okay. One more thing. Yes. The ink pads. There are two. We have Harmony Quick Dry Ink Pad in Jet Black. And like we can even compare if you want the uh, noir black and jet black, even though that's pink. It's quick dry, not much difference. And then we have another quick dry ink pad, dye ink pad, which is midnight. So that's everything. Not really anything else. To say. But I am very excited to try this out. Simple enough, just put those in the binder and then voila. Finito. I wonder, can I put this over here without knocking everything over? Maybe. Like this, anyway, at least for the picture. I probably messed up something back there, but anyway. No, so like, my folder will be in the picture when you take it. But that is everything. Technically, um, two things, but uh, many items, and yes. Anyway, I said anyway a lot. In this video, did I? I can't remember. Oh, who cares? So, <laughs> I can't wait to make something. And if I can, maybe, if I get around to making a good amount of cards with blank parts, I can take this to like a craft fair or something and do a uh, immediate custom card for. Uh, the person buying it, you know? That'd be kind of cool, don't you think? And certainly, hopefully, some cards now. 
So on the March, um, was it launch booklet or something? I can't remember what it was called. But anyway, they advertised. Was it two or three more? Uh, kind of additions to this collection, I think, from what I remember anyway. So I'm looking forward to what and when those will come out. So I believe one is supposed to come out in July. Maybe one in September. Anyway, that, those ones only have like two or three stamp panels with different ink pad colors and different little metal stamp maybe? With obviously some card blanks. I think that's what they come with. Like different color wax and metal stamp with different color ink pads and two or three different panels of stamps. I think that's what they came with. But we'll see. And hopefully they'll release sometime soon. Well, at least from what I remember. Hmm, I mean, I could do a tiny demo, maybe, but this is getting a bit long video. I don't want it to be too long. So I guess I'll end there for now. I might, you know, another crafty video if I remember to record the video. Because last time I crafted something, I completely forgot to record. So, thank you for watching. Over.